I would like to point this out, Mr. Rustin. If you have a hundred people who work for you for nothing for a week, you must you have you make a profit. If you have a million people who work for you for nothing for a year, you become wealthy. Well, then when you have millions of black people whom you can work for nothing for 310 years, you can easily see why America became the wealthiest and the most powerful country on earth faster than any country in history. But here you have 20 million black people today whose parents were worked for 310 years for nothing. What do they have coming for them? Not only did their parents work 310 years for nothing like an animal, but their parents also were the most faithful soldiers that the master had. What payment have they gotten? And uh, today, they, they're not asking for much. They're not asking uh, for what someone else would ask. Instead of asking for something that's real, they're asking their master to let them occupy one of the rooms in his house or one of the rooms with him in his house. Now, this is still not asking for something. If America gave the black man here half of this country, they wouldn't be giving us anything. They, they work our mothers and fathers for 310 years with no pay. The Senate, the, the, the Congress, and the U.S. Supreme Court found it necessary to appropriate funds to, to, to repay billions of dollars to the Indians for land that was taken from the Indians three or four hundred years ago. And if this generation of whites will recognize a debt uh, incurred by the former generations of whites to the former generations of Indians, uh, then this same generation of whites also uh, must recognize debts incurred by the former generations of white to your and my uh, uh, forefathers. And if, they, if, they, if, if their own courts uh, uh, decree that they should pay the Indian today for what was done to the former generations of Indians, don't you think that God is more just than the court system of America? And if the court system of America says that the Indians must be paid, what do you think God would say that, the, that America must do in payment to 20 million black people who worked here for nothing for 310 years?